Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and today I'm using the Thelema Tarot. Uh, it comes in a nice box. It's been around for for years. The only thing I don't like about it, I mean, I, I, I love in this deck, there is one of the most beautiful renditions of the um, the Queen of Swords that I've ever seen because it kept all the traditional, um, I don't know if I can find it, kept all the traditional, um, I might not be able to find it, uh, <clears throat> what do we call, um, the butterflies, the butterflies. <laughs> and a lot of decks drop that out and I, I think that it's just one of the most beautiful things. Uh, to remember with, with the Queen of Swords it's she's clear because she's gone through tons of transformation um, oh well I'll just I'll just give it up and who knows maybe it, maybe she'll come through for the reading if that's uh, what we're meant to to know about yeah I'm not seeing her yet here yeah so it's going star uh, yeah I'm just gonna give it up. I probably went right past her and didn't see it. Anyway, I, yeah, I've had this deck for so long you can see the messed up edges. But anyway, it, it's a nice deck. It comes with a, a guidebook and a nice box. Um, the only thing I really don't like about it is there's no... I mean, everybody's just blonde and fair-skinned. It's like, okay, can we bring some diversity in here? Uh, but it's small. It's kind of... It's not too stiff. The cards are um, semi-plastic. I guess they're just coated. And um, it's pretty easy to shuffle. Okay. So, for Monday, March 1st. Monday, March 1st. So we have the Nine of Cups reversed. The Lovers reversed and the world reversed okay well I think this is going to be more of a spiritual message than anything else um, I have to move my viewfinder a little bit yeah there we go okay so when the lovers comes through reversed let's look at it right side up you can see, well, we have the Archangel here that brings in, I think it's Gabrielle, that brings in the opportunity for real love. But it's really just an invitation. You know, this is where, like, the forces of Eros come together, and there's, there's the invitation, there's the attraction. But you have to go slow before you hook up. Otherwise, you might be hooked up with somebody that could be... Um, you know, less than loving in some way. And so it's all about, you know, unification coming, you know, people people uniting. It's everything that has to do with, you know, the possibility for a very, uh, a, you know, deeply loving relationship and harmony, uh, at the least, um, you know, balance. And it could be a very, very strong bond. But when it comes through reversed, the message to me is always there's, there needs to be work done on the level of self-love. So, you know, because on a mundane level we're dealing with, you know, arguments and, and divorce and breakups and, you know, um, unrequited love, lost love, all those things that... Um, you know, not not having like romantic love, if that's what you really want. I, I kind of, you know, don't care about that. But <laughs> I just feel like on a spiritual level, it's an invitation to love ourselves deeply. When, when this card comes to reverse, we definitely need to go back to loving ourselves and learning, learning that the, the, that relationships will always be a mirror to where we're at. So even when they're painful, it's okay because they can always uh, teach us where we haven't been loving ourselves or where we had some unprocessed pain to, to go through. So as long as we don't blame everything on them, but we take the step back when they're cruel or when they're um, you know, mean or cruel or cheating or lying or um, disrespectful on any level, 
I, you know, anything less less than loving. I, I mean, I always feel like everybody deserves my love, but I, you know, they have to earn my trust, <laughs> right? So this can be an untrustworthy relationship, and then, and then you have to, um, you know, take a step back and learn how to love yourself. Like maybe you jumped into it too quickly. Or maybe you went through like with just the the like the the forces of eros, like the erotic force, that can be very seductive, and then you didn't, um, you know, didn't didn't really ask all the questions you should have about this person, or didn't take the time to really get to know them before you let them in your life. Um, but anyway, self love is always the key. So with the nine of cups reversed, that also brings in, you know, because you can you can see this card is so th there is a lot of beauty in this deck. Now at least here we have someone that's not blonde. <laughs> Nothing against blondes at all. It's just you know if the whole deck is is well this whole deck is white people. I I have to say and I I don't I don't really appreciate that. Um, but. Look at this beautiful lotus flower, or uh, at least some type of a lily, and and look at all the gifts in these cups. So this we can get the message right here if you're learning tarot that this this card, when in the upright position, means ultimate you know fulfillment, wishes granted, having everything that you want, being um, pretty darn satisfied. But reverse, there's some lack of fulfillment. There's something that hasn't hasn't come through to to you know bring in everything that we're trying to um, trying to have. So there's um, sometimes it can be an you know an overindulgence. So if this was a love relationship that didn't work out but you really gave it your all, your all then that would make sense but then on another level it could be that learning self love uh, means that we don't um, well we learn to honor our body a little better because when the cups are reversed we kind of have to go back to the um, like what holds the the container of flow uh, you know, in in a riverbed, even it, it's the physical realm. So when cups are reversed, I always tend to kind of go to, uh, you know, what's happened physically. I go to like the the uh, the realm of pentacles and or coins and you know material resources, and I think about okay, so feelings kind of went crazy, but what what's my body telling me, you know now. After, after going through some bit of, some lack of self-love in some level. And why, you know, so now we've got the unfulfillment, and, you know, what, what, is, what is that about? Um, because sometimes this card reverse can also be about self-hatred. And, of course, this card reversed is the need for self-love. Sometimes this card reversed is about addictions, and and the way to heal that is always to find our self love. That's always the key. And um, sometimes this card can be about you know financial problems that went um, south, you know, or, or went in the wrong direction, and uh, you know there's some kind of loss. Because both of these cards have to do with loss. But I always like to remember to, you know, love ourselves through it. Love, love yourself the best you can through the situation, no matter what it is, because that's always the task. And that's especially true when we have the, the world reversed. We have two major arcanas here. And this is kind of a cool card, too. Look at that. Even though, yeah, I mean, she's, she's young and blonde. <laughs> but look at all the, the beauty there. It's like spinning the world, right? She's she's got the power. It gives you the image of she has the power to spin her world, except for it came through reverse. So, so there's you know there's that that message to um you know to know that there's something, especially combo with these like these cards would come together when in a relationship there wasn't closure. Like it went bad, but then we didn't have closure. 
and um, so it leaves us feeling kind of kind of empty and undone. Now on another level, if none of this has anything to do with a relationship and it's just all about self-love, then it could be the message could be to be okay with a delay, be okay with uh, feeling a little incomplete, be okay with having a little bit of disharmony going on while you're learning to love yourself and work through any level of unfulfillment that may be going on. So that, that, that's, a good, that's a good message to remember. Let me push these up here and let's use the Spirit Animal Oracle and see what it has to say. And I apologize for forgetting to use this yesterday. I try to remember to use it every day or sometimes use the, the Learn and Learn. Okay. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, we have the porcupine spirit that says it's time for a beginner mind. So that would be starting over. And maybe having stronger boundaries because now, you know, we've got the porcupine. <laughs> they can go, whoosh. And, and say, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, and then the moth spirit says surrender now. So yeah, that, that would be surrendering to anything, you know, painful. Oh my goodness, and the dove came back. We had this one a couple, three days ago, I think. I remember. Um, about being and just being in your peaceful place. So yeah, so, so when... When relationships are painful and you're you're feeling kind of undone, um, well, let's do it this way. When you're feeling kind of undone, I um, I think that the best thing to do is to surrender into whatever pain, of course, because it, you know you know through processing the pain you'll free up your available life force, and uh, and you won't be stuck anymore, and then you'll be in your peaceful place. And then from there, you'll be back with the, the beginner mind, you know, where you start over. You go, oh, okay, wait a minute. Well, so it wasn't, it wasn't perfect before, but I can start over. Nothing's ever perfect on earth anyway, but I can always start over and begin in a brand new place. But surrendering to where we are now, that's always the key. Like being with what is, that's always the key. And I'm um, waiting and, you know, just waiting in faith and knowing that it will be better. You'll get to your peaceful place again. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's all I have for today. And um, happy beginning of March. <laughs> Spring is coming. Oh, yay. Okay, thanks, you guys. Take good care. Bye.